is not playing nearly as many snaps as he did last year, but he looks so much more effective this year. Um, and again, I thought on Sunday night, he seemed to really embrace this rivalry. Like, forget about the obviously game winning touchdown, which we're going to talk about more when we talk about Pickett. But just the way that he was running again violently and just he looks like he's really embracing the Steelers Ravens rivalry, which is great to see from a young player like understanding it so early in their career. But him and Jalen Warren, to me, I think are providing like some, you know, thunder and lightning for this football team that we really haven't seen since like Le'Veon and D'Angelo. Yeah, I I think it's really important that Najee had had his touches reduced based off last season, um, because listen, for the for the way I talk about running backs, you get all the carries you can out of them, you don't give them a contract, and then you move on. But if you want to to get those carries at the most effective rate, having a guy like Jalen Warren with Najee Harris has been really good. Um, and we, we've kind of talked about this pretty much all season. Like Jalen Warren has has something to him where he could be a decent backup. And we really saw it in this game as well, just because we saw him get some elevated touches too, um, because I, I believe he had, he had like 12 carries and a few catches as well. So he was touching the ball like 15 times. Um, and, and, and that's pretty uh, pretty much elevated based off of some of his touches from previous weeks. And we saw what he was able to do with it. Um he, he had like 75 yards or something like that, 76 yards. Najee had 111 yards. I remember that number. And, and, and they were able to perform to the best of their abilities no matter who was on the field. And I, I think that is kind of what you want as that duo goes along. Um, and I, I don't want to – this is the only comparison that comes to mind in the current NFL. Like I, I think of like Zeke and Tony Pollard. Um mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that those two are on that level of of a duo yet, but I, what I am saying is like if you t- reduce the touches of Najee, it will increase the touches of Jalen Warren, and they can both be as effective as they can be on the field because we've seen throughout the year Jalen Warren is a good football player. He's a good running back, especially out of the backfield catching passes as well. And I, I think that you're able to really use the best of both worlds when it comes to both of your running backs in that scenario because as much as a workhorse Najee would like to be and that the team might want him to be the best case scenario is that he he gets to share some of the time and then and I like the way they did it he had they out of all the carries between the two of them Najee had like two-thirds of them and Warren had a third of them I would be perfectly happy with that moving forward because you get a more efficient and more effective Najee and Jalen Warren at both times of the ball yeah, I think, well, first off, I want to bring up a stat, too, uh, and who better to look at for stats than stats guy Daniel, Daniel Valente, who's been on the show before. By the way, I need to have him back on, one of my favorite follows. Uh, most rushing yards after contact since week 10, which was the Steelers' bye week. Josh Jacobs, 345, is first. Second, Najee Harris, 308 yards after contact, um, which, if you're watching on Sundays, that absolutely checks out and matches the eye test. Um, because, like, even the offensive line has definitely been better. Najee Harris is gaining a ton of yards even after people make contact with him, and you can see that. So um, it's great to see. But from Jalen Warren's perspective, too, one thing that I really liked about his utilization, that to me is a great way to use the jet sweeps, is having both on the field at the same time and having Jalen Warren line up in the slot and getting him the ball. If you're going to use you know, an end-around jet sweep formation and give, yeah. him, give somebody the ball, why not Jalen Warren as opposed to a guy like Steven Sims or Gunnar Osheski where you've seen Jalen Warren be able to get yards after contact and create for himself? Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, it was it was some nice play calls then. Um, and I, I just think – and I kind of think about, about what we talked about just relating it to hockey too. Like Tristan Jari going into the season, we talked about his starts need to be lessened and that could get a more effective goalie out of it. Same thing with Najee Harris. Touches they they get they get lessened, but that doesn't mean that he's not going to be the workhorse back. He still is, but he he has been running more effective, more ferocious. I mean, and like you said, it passes the eye test. Listening to that that yards after contact, I mean, he's he's running a lot harder than we've really seen him at a more consistent rate in a steely uniform, and it's it's been really fun to watch. And and this game on Sunday against the Ravens. Um, the Steelers really dominated on the ground. And it, even in looking at the box score now that I pulled it up, like you can see that. I mean, I mean Kenny did spread the ball around a little bit with, with, the, with the throwing game, but where they dominated offensively was in that run game for sure. 